Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, I have something to spruce up the back section, the ass of this uh, battle axe, so to speak. My 21 Polaris Razor XP Turbo Turbo XP or whatever, it's too scary. I got this here from True Mods, a set of taillights, guys. They're not bad looking. Um, my first impression was, uh, you know, they're, they're darker, they kind of have that frosted or smoked kind of lens look uh pretty cool looking they're a little bit different might i say than the stock oem taillights so amy h from these folks uh, approached me on our email and said if we'd be interested in uh, reviewing these and trying them out uh so they sent them to me uh direct from china and uh i thought you know what let's give it a shot wait until i put all the plastic and the fenders and the rear uh, balance back on the uh, battle axe here and uh, just did that in the last video I'll leave a little card up here for you to go check it out if you want to catch up um, so before I did the wiring I wanted to uh, uh, do these now the wiring just involves plugs not a big deal I do have two turn signals that I uh, wired up uh, for a trip to Utah where I was going to go to Sand Hollow drive on the streets I even have the Utah uh, permit or registration license, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you need turn signals. Never made it up there, but at least I got them now. Uh, and um, maybe I'll do a little quick review on those a little bit later. So anyway, here are the taillights. I'm going to flash what they look like stock. Again, they're functional, not bad. But uh, this will maybe spruce it up a little bit. And um, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, I do want to say the packaging is really nice. It's Really quality packaging, it's well protected, um, not a scratch on them. And so that kind of says something that the company is at least serious. Um, and you definitely want first impressions. So the first impression was definitely uh, fit and finish is really nice. Uh, box is actually a shoebox size. I'm going to save this box because it's pretty nice. Uh, might even be a nice little uh, pew pew uh, storage device. So anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so obviously uh, I already opened this up here, uh, so we'll set this aside. So, uh, before we get started here, guys, check this out. Oh man, I feel so good, I don't know why. But this is the way they go, guys, in case you've never played around with the ass end on your Polaris before, but uh, they kind of go like that. Um, now on the back of them, uh, they have these little pressed on I don't know what you call them but they're uh, they're like rivet nuts or whatever that just screw and uh, clamp on this plastic happens to be an 11 millimeter so basically you just get your socket on there uh, twist them off and that's it um, be sure to unplug it it's got that all weather uh, uh, sealed uh, plug you just pull the tab pop it off take these three um, nuts off and then pop the new one in that's it guys simple as that Okay, guys, as you can see, these are the three little uh, thumb nuts or whatever they call them. They go on the plastic uh, nubs. Uh, so use a uh, deep socket um, for that 11 millimeter. And in this case, uh, 7 16 also works for you uh, other people. So I'm just going to get this one out and kind of show you how easy it is to pull it out. Um, it's very easy. There you go, guys. That's about it. That's what it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two, and I'll meet you over at the table. Okay, guys. Got the uh, OEM one out. One quick little note of difference here. The factory uh, light has four pins. Now, that pin on the far left is unused on my model. That's for turn signal uh, integration. Uh, sorry about that focus, guys. And the um, aftermarket does not have the turn signal integration. Um, so I'm not sure why the uh, factory Polaris one has the turn signal integrated. My harness doesn't have that fourth uh, female uh, slot uh, that has a wire going to it. Uh, it does have a hole, but it doesn't have a, a, a prong in there. So it's essentially a dead end. 
I think maybe somebody makes an adapter um, in case I want factory turn signals, but uh, this doesn't have it. So anyway, uh, not a big deal. Um, but anyway, side by side comparison, um, kind of swoopy looking, you know, maybe a little, you know, sci-fi action going on, you know, but um, they're different, um, but we'll see how bright they are. All right, guys, uh, as you can see, the one on the left is installed. The one on the right is still stock. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, do the brakes and just kind of show you how they look. All right, guys, I'm going to do a little close-up this time. And I want you to pay particular attention to that lower left little area right here, how it flashes. Brakes on. Off. All right, guys, first impression. I like them. I like the little blinky-blinky toward the end. Also, it has a little bit more lit-up surface area than the factory Although what I do like about the factory is one full row lights up when you apply the brakes, whereas these kind of just kind of get brighter a little bit. And uh, But, you know, the running brightness when you're not applying the brakes is nice and bright. I do like that. So anyway, guys, uh, tell me what you think about Comment down below. And uh, would you buy these if uh, you saw them on the store shelf? And how much do you think they would be worth? And anyway... Guys, that's it. Till next time, meet you on the trail.